U.S. F-35s over Ukraine Pentagon made a statement. The U.S. has denied flying F-35s over Ukraine after Singapore's Defense Minister Ng Eng Hen claimed that the advanced fighter jets were being used to monitor Russian troops in the region. Ng Hen made the remarks last Wednesday while speaking in the National Parliament about the importance of long-term planning in the defense industry. He in particular mentioned that Singapore was closely evaluating the US-made F-35, especially when it comes to its use in real-world conditions. He noted that the US has used the F-35 not only to target Islamic State terrorists in the Middle East but also also to locate and identify surface-to-air missile sites of Russian units in Ukraine, adding that this reconnaissance was later shared with NATO members. He did not say whether an F-35 ever entered Ukrainian airspace or if flights were carried out over NATO territory. A spokesperson for the Pentagon declined to comment on the minister's remarks but stressed that, I can confirm that the US does not fly F-35s in Ukraine. Last March, the website C4ISRNet reported, citing Colonel Craig Andrew, the commander of the 388th Fighter Wing, that the U.S. used F-35 to gather reconnaissance on threats in Ukraine and the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad. The fighters were able to locate and identify surface-to-air missile sites and pass that information to the rest of the coalition, the article said. However, while Andrew stressed that F-35 could be a formidable war asset without firing a single shot due to its intelligence gathering capabilities, it sometimes struggled to snoop on Russian positions. The colonel recalled that the F-35 had failed to identify a Russian S-300 missile system because it was potentially operating in a war reserve mode that we haven't seen before. Since the Ukraine conflict began in February 2022, NATO has increased its air presence in Eastern Europe, deploying additional fighters and surveillance aircraft. Putin to interfere in presidential elections in U.S. Russian President Vladimir Putin will interfere in the 2024 U.S. presidential election, states Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Oleksiy Danilov. According to him, artificial intelligence has allowed Russia to significantly intensify its disinformation campaigns, which is a huge step forward for Moscow. The Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council is convinced that the scale of information interference will be much larger than before. Russia now has special units dedicated to every country where elections are taking place. The network of informants and agents of Moscow around the world is so large that removing Russian interference is impossible. The FSB continues to contract with European criminal groups, Danilov noted. The Times states that Russian agents spread 166 million pieces of disinformation about Ukraine weekly on various platforms. The presidential election in the U.S. is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. According to forecasts, the main candidate for the Democrats will be the incumbent American leader, Joe Biden. The Republicans will nominate either Donald Trump or former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan recently stated that the White House is concerned about possible Russian interference in the 2024 presidential election. NBC News reported that Russia is already spreading disinformation ahead of this year's U.S. elections. Fake accounts and bots are being used to harm President Joe Biden and his Democratic colleagues. Putin responded to Biden's insult, calling it a great shame for the U.S. President Joe Biden called his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin a crazy SOB at a public fundraising event in California. We have a crazy SOB like that guy Putin and others. And we always have to worry about nuclear conflict, but the existential threat to humanity is climate. Biden said in a brief speech at the event in San Francisco that was attended by a small group of reporters. In a hot mic slip in January 2022, Biden similarly called a Fox News journalist a son of a bitch. Biden's burst of strong language follows other occasions in which he has called the Russian president who ordered the invasion of Ukraine in 2022 a butcher and a war criminal. The Kremlin slammed Joe Biden's use of shameful language. 
This is a huge shame for the country itself, for the US. If a president uses that kind of language, it's shameful, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said. He remarked that Biden's statement was a poor attempt to appear like a Hollywood cowboy. A brief report on the Russian state news agency TASS website quoted Peskov as saying, Biden's words about Putin cannot hurt the Russian president, but they are a disgrace to the United States itself. Peskov said, the use of such language against the head of another state by the president of the United States is unlikely to infringe on our president, President Putin, but it debases those who use such vocabulary. Peskov said the remark was probably some kind of attempt to look like a Hollywood cowboy, but honestly, I don't think it's possible. Has Putin ever used one crude word to address you? This has never happened. Therefore, I think that such vocabulary debases America itself, Peskov said. He later added in comments to a state television reporter, this is a disgrace for the country itself. I mean the United States.